Hi everyone and welcome to another Saturday sipping session with me, Sara, aka Queen of Queen from Vin Van Cardi. And today I've got a special guest here. This is my lovely new friend Rachel. We're gonna be Bezies from now on. Um, hi! Hi! <laughs> You're so right? Yeah, I'm pretty excited to be here. Good. <laughs> so Rachel also works in the wine industry. She's uh, another wine person. I think that's the best title we've come yeah, up I with. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Sommelier yeah. or yeah, wine person. Wine Let's person, go with yeah. um, wine person. Um, and so Rachel does some really cool things. She writes uh, a wine blog. It's not just about wine, though, is it? Or is no, well, it's based on wine. It's more on, I think, tackling accessibility issues um, and making it a little bit more informal. Yeah, it just makes it get rid of all that kind of elitist nonsense. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. And it is 100% worth a read. So if you haven't read it already, um, go and look up J'adore La Planque. It's, it's got a great title and the content is even better, trust me. Um, so go and look for J'adore La Planque on MailChimp or just um, find Rachel's handle when I tag her in this video. <laughs> uh, I'm not allowed to spell it out because it's a bit complicated. Um, so yeah, that's what you should uh, look for after you watch this video. So today we are gonna try a brand new wine that we've got in. So this is called The Dreamer Viognier 2018 uh, from the Philip Shaw uh, series. So this is from Orange in Australia and Orange is pretty cool because it's one of the only climates in Australia that is actually a cool climate. There are only a handful of climates or areas, I mean, that have cooler climates. And this is because of the altitude, which is nice. Um, Philip Shaw as well, they do quite a few different wines. Um, they've got a couple of, in the character series that we were looking at earlier. Yeah. Um, Merlot, different things. And more than anything, we just really like the label, if you can see that. <laughs> Philip Shaw, the dreamer. Um, and yeah, so this is 2018. Do you want to have a little um, stick, it, stick your schnoz in that one there? That's a little smell. So the grapes for this wine were harvested early and that is to retain that high acidity and to actually lower the alcohol. So if you think of Australian wines, usually they tend to be really big guys, don't they? Yeah. They're very like big alcohol, big body. Mm -hmm. um, there's lots of sunshine going to those grapes. Absolutely. So they kind of produce lots of stuff yeah. in the glass. Mm -hmm. So if you kind of like those really jammy, full on flavors um, and alcohol, then maybe this is not for you, but we'll give it a go anyway and let you know what it's like. Um, the, the grapes, sorry, I'm forgetting what I'm talking about. So the grapes were um, fermented on, they say on solids. Yeah, it said on light, on light solids. solids. And neither of us knew what that meant, which is promising. Yeah, I don't know if it's an Australian thing or maybe it's just kind of this particular region, but um, did some research, it just means basically on the skins, um, which we've seen before. And obviously that just adds a little bit of texture. It can add more flavor. There was a short maturation as well afterwards on, again, some light solids. It sounds really dodgy now that I say it. Yeah, I'm really uncomfortable. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, and actually, more interestingly, they stopped the fermentation a little earlier as well to retain a little bit of residual sugar. So there's so much going on and we just can't wait to try it. So I'm, I'm going to give it, well, so it's seriously pale. Like, it's really light, isn't it? Really, 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 really light in Especially for something that has had some skin contact. That's it's it. It's really pale. But I guess if they've harvested early... Yeah, that's it. I guess there's not. And that they've stopped the fermentation. Yeah, I don't know. All right. Pale. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. It's interesting, because you just said it's cold climate, harvested early, so it's going to be low alcohol, and alcohol is the first thing <laughs> that I get when I smell it. That's so true. It's it's really perfumed. Um, but yeah, you just get... It, it smells like it's it should be maybe 13 or 14 percent. This is only 11. Yeah, it's like a really light wine, and it smells like um, I've just spilled a bottle of perfume. <laughs> on the table you know that really strongly like oh, no and it just yeah. like that horrible like not horrible but like that almost like very really powerful mm. 
waff that you get yeah that is like it's all this like really awesome like strong flavors coming mm. out it's like that and this is like it really packs a punch when you smell it absolutely it's really, like it's really good it's quite pungent and weirdly so if you check out the legs right let me get some legs for you to see if i can show you on the camera you might not be able to see to be fair can confirm but it's got some it's got some sexy legs going to an extent which would make you think either high alcohol or a lot of residual sugar so if that's all in the sugar and not the alcohol i'm expecting this to be reasonably sweet yeah all right let's have a little sip this is my favorite part of the video by the way just the drinking part mm. Mm. that's the only reason i'm here <laughs> it seems you're like do you want to drink wine i was like i accept <laughs> yes i will do that yeah oh my god it's um uh, yeah Seriously high acid. I do this every time. Every time I drink something acidic, I just go, oh, like yeah. this. And no one knows what I mean, but it like hits you right here. Just there. And then like just streaks all the way down. And it's really, it's like um, really sherbet-y. Yeah, lemon mm. sherbet. It's, this is not sweet. This is, this is really, no, it's really dry. dry and sharp. Um, mm. And it's got the high acid, but it's got the citrus there as well so it's it's it that's why you get a bit of puckering sensation as well because it's that it's not just dryness it's not just acid there's also like quite yeah the lemon sherbet wanting to yeah it's like um that like tequila lime moment isn't it where you squeeze it and you're just like this is mm. and a bit of spice a bit of um like my tongue is tingling a little bit and that could possibly be from the acid that were a little bit maybe you could spot some bubbles on the bottom of the glass that makes you think all right maybe a spritzy yeah. acid acidity you know like a vino verde but like my tongue's a bit numb right now how's yours um yeah it feels like, <laughs> how's your tongue it feels like um what's that thing where you, it, before it goes numb and it's coming back and it's I've pins and needles yeah, that's it. you've forgotten the word for that um it's like really or like you've had like popping candy in your mouth mm. it's like your tongue is just like fizzing yeah. a little bit because of it like post lemon sherbet almost yeah exactly well. like it's literally like um like a sherbet did that that kind of like sensation on your tongue it's so nice this is a really bizarre wine this is this is not it doesn't it's lovely but it is not what it says on the tin no it's 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 really lovely but if you'd have told me to describe that from the label mm. i'd have gone okay really like light floral notes mm. really easy to sip um like just very like an easy going but this is like really yeah powerful isn't it yeah. i like it it's really good but it's not it's not what it says no no it's not what it describes if it, it, it smells and tastes like it's at least 13% in alcohol, if not potentially higher. Mm. Um, and it's really dry, so I yeah. don't know if that residual sugar they wanted to keep actually turned into alcohol and they just didn't realise, or... But it's got this, like, um, it does have a body to it, like, mm. like it feels heavy on my tongue which also I would say I wouldn't have expected it like really light wines are almost like water when you drink yeah. them that day whereas this you can feel it like there's that like layer mm. on your mouth as it goes through yeah 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 that comes with body but then this is also something that you do get with Viognier so Viognier's do tend to be quite weighty um, oily um, styles of wine you, you'll, you'll see descriptions of um, oily Viognier's um, to the point where actually you can use this great variety in red wine blends there's actually just to plug Tesco's right now, which is really bad, but there is a <laughs> there's a wine there called Quirky Bird, and I think it's a Syrah Mouvedre Viognier blend, yeah. and it's a really nice kind of oily, peppery, really yeah. Again, buy my wine, don't buy Tesco wine. Um, but yeah, like I'm getting that kind of weight from the from the wine from the Viognier, but it just seems so much more alcoholic than it says yeah it's like um i like viognier's because viognier's are almost like drinking a cocktail because you get mm. that like sweetness alcohol like citrus balance mm. and this is pretty similar because you can mm. 
I like white wines where you're like, oh, this, I can feel like I'm drinking wine. Yeah. And I feel like this has got some, like, this could do some damage. Yeah. yeah. And this could definitely do some yeah. damage. This is not, I mean, it's quite floral and perfumed on the nose, but I'm, I'm not getting a hell, of a, a hell of a lot of, like, stone fruits or tropical fruits that you might expect no. from Australia. It's um, really, um, yeah, there's like really nice honeysuckle, ginger, mm. like really, really citrusy, but there's nothing, yeah, you're right, there isn't that, like normally I'd get like peaches or yeah. nectarines yeah. or like maybe like tinned peaches as well, that really like syrupy yeah. kind of thing, but this is not, yeah. A lot more vibrant, it's yeah. a lot fresher style. This would go really well with um, spicy curries and yeah. especially things with, we were saying ginger. Um, coconut and saffron that kind of thing so I'm a calmer kind of girl and um, I think this would go oh, really lush. well with that. It'd be so good. But um, yeah this isn't a midweek kind of chill out easy drinking kind of wine this is this wine means business I think this is yeah that's a really good one yeah yeah if you've had a long day and you need to it's one of the yeah it's one of those wines where I think you know when you have those days where you're like I need a glass of wine mm. this is it feel this is like hello yes i have a glass of wine yeah well you only just need the one yeah but you need to know that it's wine yeah and you need to know that there's enough alcohol in there <laughs> to kind of wipe away your troubles um not condoning drinking too much or uh drinking high percentage things for the sake of it obviously i've literally just written all about this and now i'm like yeah this will take the edge off drink it <laughs> like, no <laughs> It's fine, it's fine. We're not condoning that at all. Um, yeah, so I really like it. I love it. It's so, it's just really, I just love wines that make you think. And I think it's mm. been interesting that we have gone, oh, like, I'm very proud of this, but like, we've gone, oh, this is not, um, yeah, this doesn't match up with a label. Like, oh, we want people, we know this. But no, um, it's just really, like, it's different and it makes you think and yeah. it very much like it wakes you up mm. I think as a wine it's really nice yeah it's not um yeah again it's not just your standard kind of fruity style wine like yeah. easy drinking it has uh, layers it's got something interesting about it it's got something to think about it has something um, to say absolutely yeah. yeah 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 and if you want you know this is the kind of wine that you need to feel feelings try this because yeah. it will shake you up it's not what you expect um it's totally different and it's not it, it's not something that you'd expect from australia um it's not necessarily something you'd expect from um necessarily a viognier especially from this region so yeah this is it's just different so if you need a good shake up if you need um if you're in a funk maybe and you need a glass of wine that will kind of bring you out of that maybe give this one a go yeah cool so this is actually uh, fifteen ninety nine from Vin Van Cardi and is available online at uh, www.vinvancardi.co.uk. Um, this will be available at ten percent off from today for the next seven days. So if you want a really awesome discount, um, then buy the wine. So there we have it. We've given you full. Uh, professional WSET level three tasting notes. From, wine people. Exactly, from official wine people. Yeah. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, hopefully we'll have you back again. That would be lovely. Yeah, more free wine. Yeah. Oh yeah, tell me in. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so until the next video, until we see you next, take it easy and yeah,